Thank you, choir. Good way to start a service off. All right, Bentley Smith, where are you? Bentley Smith, a young man, gave his life to the Lord recently, and I got a Bible present to him. And it's a lot easier for him to walk down here than it is for me to walk up there. Hmm. All right. Proud of this young man. We have a baptismal today as well. And uh, so God has blessed uh, certainly in that area. All right, Bentley. Don't be in such a hurry, buddy. <laughs> He's a good boy, I'll tell you that. All right, this is your certificate of baptism, okay? It's got your name and the day you're baptized. And here is you a beautiful Bible. That's, that's wonderful. You'll enjoy it. You read it and obey it, and God will bless your life. Okay? All right. God bless you. Okay. He's a good boy. He knows his Bible, I'll tell you that. That boy knows what he's doing. Well, we welcome you this morning. Glad that you're here today. If you're visiting with us, uh, we're certainly glad you've come to be a part of our time together. Next Sunday, uh, Mother's Day. Is that right? Next Sunday? Yeah. And uh, I'll do a baby dedication. So if you have a child that's not been dedicated, a small child or something, or a baby, um, get me an index card to get you an index card. Write the information on there. And if you can, get it to me at the end of the service this morning or write it on anything so I can make sure I have enough Bibles. I present that child a Bible. So we'll do that next uh, Sunday on Mother's Day. Uh, there'll be a baby dedication. Young at Heart will be on May the 12th. Uh, Awana this week, uh, you kids, it's going to be a good time. Have pizza, is that right? And uh, so they'll rotate them going over there for pizza. And so uh, make sure that you're here Wednesday night as we as we wind down another year. Plus, she's uh, Miss Marva has something uh, for you kids to to do this Wednesday night during the summertime uh, with Awana as well. Vacation Bible School meeting immediately after the service this morning. If you're interested in working Vacation Bible School, and I pray after I've mentioned it many times that you are now, that you're willing to help in that ministry, uh, meet just for a few minutes right down here. It won't be but just a few minutes, and, uh, and it will keep you. All right, I think that covers pretty much uh, men's ministry in the morning, and then the ladies uh, meet on Tuesday. And uh, if you didn't pick up one of these on the way in, pick up one on the way out today. This gives you the details of what's happening this month at Poplar Grove Baptist Church so we can all be on the same page together so you'll, we'll all know what's going on. All right, Chad, come and lead us, please. Well, good morning. Let's all stand this morning. We're going to bless it be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised in the name of the Lord. Through the valley, 
seated as we go the Lord in prayer. Let me share with you some, uh, uh, some prayer requests. Continue remember Herman Adams, if you would in your prayers, old Burr back. Glenn Baker. Glenn was able to be with us last Sunday, so uh, continue to lift him up in your prayers if you would. Uh, Jody Barton, Karen Bowman, uh, Donna Creech, Daisy Davis, uh, Cassandra and Lisa Estep, uh, Prayer of Praise, Earl Fox, is uh, in remission of his cancer. Praise the Lord for that. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, remember Johnny and Pat Fox both. Pat had a fall this past week, and she's bruised up pretty good. So remember Pat especially. Uh, Meredith Gaddis, continue to lift her up. Jean Gilbert, um, Eli Gray, uh, Mark Gray as well. Uh, Colin Harrell, J.S. Hammonds, uh, Wes and Erlene Hicks. Remember both of those folks, if you would. Uh, Jessica Hoskins, uh, uh, remember her in prayers, uh, if you would. She certainly needs them. Liz Jones, uh, Liz and Les, many of you know them, live next door. We bought, the, we bought this farm from them. Actually, Liz is not doing good. Uh, her sister called and left a message and asked that, that we certainly be in prayer for her, that things weren't good. So remember Liz Jones, if you would. Um, Lisa and Wanda Keith both need our prayers. Uh, Laura Kennedy, uh, Vicki Killian, we'll find out some stuff this Tuesday, so let's pray that she gets a good report from all of her stuff. Uh, Jean Mahoney, continue to remember her, Rosine McKinn, uh, uh, Randall Mills, uh, Avery Perry, Avery is back in Lexington, uh, so remember Avery and Sharon Perry if you would, Karen Prather, uh, Jean Pryor. Jean was here last Sunday. It was so good to uh, see, see her. Uh, Sherry Sams, continue to lift her up. Christina Myers uh, needs our prayers uh, as she is about to have a child. And, uh, and so remember her, if you would, when you pray. Uh, Rose Smith, Gail Sprinkles, uh, Jim Bob Stewart, uh, Jamie and Jake Taylor, uh, Margie Tate, uh, Stephanie Temple had her surgery, and she's recovering from that. Uh, Deanne Webb, uh, Dickie Wilder, got to see Dickie this week. He, uh, uh, he's doing good after his surgery, and let's pray he continues to recover. Uh, Mickey Wilson, my friend down in, uh, in South Carolina, not doing well. Uh, Beverly and Austin Coleman, also two new names added to our prayer ministry. Uh, in the hospital... Uh, of course, uh, we've got a couple there that's in the hospital I just mentioned. Uh, we need to uh, remember Matthew Mills, a little five-year-old who's uh, really having some serious health issues. This is uh, Mike and uh, Mills is, uh, and Kathy's uh, nephew. Uh, as a church family, we need to remember, uh, continue to remember Donna Horn with the passing of her mother. Donna Horn Taylor, passing of her mother, Doris Horn, Joyce Horn. Uh, Bonnie Mills, you know Miss Bonnie, we buried her this past week, a longtime member here, uh, so remember her family, and also uh, Barbara Sailor Cobb, some of you have worshipped with her in years gone by, and then Michael Ferguson, we had that funeral, and that young man, and remember him, and uh, also I got a call yesterday, uh, Nick Holland. some of you have known Nick Holland through the years, I'll be doing his service tomorrow afternoon. So we got a lot of people on our prayer ministry, and we need to be praying for Vacation Bible School and all of you who will be involved with that. And pray for a, for a great year. I hope this is our best year yet when it comes to Bible School. We're finally getting to come back and do the things that we want to do, so uh, let's pray for a good one. All right, let's take these needs before the Lord, we pray, and whatever need that you have today. All of us who have come into this building today or out there on the parking lot listening uh, on the radio today, um, 
You deal with issues. People will be watching this afternoon. Eric said there was 300 and something people watched our service last Sunday afternoon. Isn't that wonderful through the internet? And so we all have things we deal with. We have issues we deal with in life. So whatever it is that you're dealing with, you have a God who's bigger than whatever it might be. So let's take these needs to him as we pray. Father, we thank you for this time together today. And we thank you for the privilege of prayer that we can just pause and lift up these needs into your care. We know that you know every need, you know every situation. And we just come today trusting them into your care, knowing that you care for us. And Father, we give you praise for these who are doing better, these who've got a good report about their cancer and remission. What a joy that is to hear news like that. And, and for others who have had successful surgery and recovering, we just thank you and praise you because you're the one that gives wisdom to these people who take care of our needs. And then to know that you're greater than any need that we might have, no matter what it is, you're bigger than that need. And you tell us to bring it to you. And so, Father, that's what we're doing today. We're lifting up the needs on behalf of these whom I've mentioned today, plus these are gathered in our, on our grounds, our church grounds today, who have things that uh, they're dealing with. So we trust it all into your care. Thank you for this time of worship today. Thank you for our choir how they bless our heart, and for these who do uh, special music and, and all that we do, our musicians and everyone that just lifts our hearts toward heaven. So we pray today, Father, that you'll just bless our efforts today. Thank you for Miss Carolyn, who comes today to go walk through the waters of baptism as a reaffirmation of her faith. I pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Let's all stand this morning as we sing all three stanzas of Sweet Hour.